Yo, what's going on people? So today we're going to be reviewing the new uh, nightclubs from the After Hours DLC. And yeah, so we'll see. Is it worth it? And as usual, I'm not going to make you wait to the end of the video. I'm going to tell you right now, no, I do not think this DLC is worth it. I can see some people disagreeing with me already. I'm having flashbacks from my uh, bunker video with all those angry comments, but whatever. I don't think this DLC is worth it. So here is why. Let's hop into the pros and the cons. So let's start off with the pricing. The price is going to cost you 1.08 and it's going to go all the way up to 1.7 million if you want to own the actual nightclub itself. And let's hop into the pros. So first of all, it's fun and entertaining. It's, it's a fun and uh, entertaining uh, business, the nightclub aspect. You can dance, you and your friends could go and chill in the VIP section. Drinks are free there or you can actually um, have drinks upstairs or there's a bar downstairs or like three bars in this place and dance floor and I actually kind of like the music so yeah this DLC is fun uh, you get daily income from the nightclub uh, which is both a pro and a con I'll get the con, con part of that in the next section so you get money from this business every day and it's a passive business kind of like the bunker so all you have to do is be online and it's gonna generate stock over time and it's very customizable it's highly customizable you could change the uh, interiors how your dancers dry ice uh, you could change the lighting setup beside the uh, DJ rig so uh, customization is pretty good and when it comes to actually delivering the stock from the warehouse section of this business um, you can actually do it yourself so that's one thing that I like you don't need to get your friends and everyone together no it's just one vehicle and you can customize this vehicle to be uh, armored so it takes missiles and so you can actually defend yourself so you have proximity mines and uh, there are guns and missiles and uh, grenade launchers that you can put on top of these vehicles so yeah that's one thing that I like about the delivery aspect and that is about it for the pros of this DLC and there are the cons there are so many cons I even know where to begin alright let's start off with the smallest ones and then we'll get to the bigger cons so the small cons uh, you get a daily income of ten thousand dollars a day that that's not much one I figured um, you know as time goes on or as you get more uh, celebrities to come in the club the daily uh, income would increase I would have been at least happy with you know maybe 25,000 because we did go through all the trouble to save up millions of dollars to buy this place but no there were a lot of missed opportunities here for the, the nightclub aspect of the business so daily income is only 10,000 so yeah you spent a million on all you get back is 10,000 every day not to mention you have to keep the bar high you have to keep doing promotion missions to keep this bar high so you get uh, $10,000 every day um, when you book DJs you actually have to pay for them so one of them came out today this is uh, I think a tale of us the second set of DJs so you have to pay a hundred thousand to initiate that mission and then uh, you can put them in a club again I also thought having you know maybe more or better DJs would increase the daily income or popularity club still not the case so the default that you can make from this nightclub part is ten thousand dollars the most so the real money comes from the warehouse aspect and this is where the DLC takes a turn for the worst this is where it becomes a huge money pit so in order to make money from the warehouse aspect of this DLC you need to have the other businesses purchased um, so there's seven so there's the bunker there's the hangar and then there's the other five biker businesses you know the weed cocaine lab you know all those other businesses so if you don't have those purchased and you went ahead and bought this nightclub you won't make you won't make any money from this DLC um, you'll just get the ten thousand dollars from the nightclub part of it so yeah I don't think this DLC is for people who recently just got the game um, that might have been pretty that should have been clear from the beginning because that might have tricked a lot of people so not only do you need those other businesses in order to make money from this one um, if you don't have them then you have to go ahead and buy majority of those businesses but it's not done there if you actually want to make the most amount of money from this business you still have to upgrade it by buying more storage for the warehouse which is gonna cost you another 1.7 so after purchasing all of those other businesses um, and then upgrading this warehouse in the nightclub to its maximum capacity, the most you can actually make is around 1.6. 
Not really, because apparently after you finish doing your deliveries, Tony's gonna call you and says he wants a 10% cut. So you actually make around 1.5. But hold on, that's that's actually not the worst part. So apparently all of these other businesses are separate. So this nightclub warehouse has nothing to do with those other businesses. It doesn't interact with them. Uh, you just have to have them opened so the uh, nightclub warehouse can make money. Here's the thing, for each of these categories, there's a max limit and I'll just put all the calculations on screen to show the maximum amount of money you get. For the bunker and hangar section, we'll just look at those. I think the capacity goes to about 100 or somewhere around there, but the most amount you can make is 500,000 and that's from the bunker. The bunker by itself, the most you could make is like, I think 1.1 million. So yeah, the separate businesses, they actually make more money by themselves. The only difference is you have to do resupplies, etc. Like I said, this is a passive business. You don't have to do anything besides own the other businesses, but you actually make less money. That's one. And part two is actually the wait times. The bunker fills up, uh, I think, one set of stock every seven minutes, like I showed in my other video. That's if you have the upgrade bought. For this, it takes two hours to fill up one uh, set of product from the bunker. Two hours for one set of product, yeah. So you can actually fill up the entire bunker before this actually hits the max capacity for uh, the bunker section in the in the warehouse. You can actually fill up your bunker multiple times before this entire nightclub warehouse is filled up, which is only worth uh, 1.5. By then you probably could have filled up the bunker at least one and a half, maybe twice. So that's not even the worst part still. If you actually want to uh, cut down the wait times for the nightclub warehouse, that's going to cost you another 1.4 million because they are upgrades to the warehouse in here. And like those other businesses, this can be rated. So you can also pay for security, which is going to cost you another, I think, six or 700,000. And if you haven't realized by now, I'm just going to come straight out and say again, this DLC is a giant money pit. Don't, don't, don't buy it. Don't even attempt to buy it or try to fill it up. It is a waste of money. And you know what's the funny thing about getting that $10,000 every day? Because you have seven businesses opened at the same time, guess what? All of those bills hit you the same time. So I just see the $10,000 plus pop up from the uh, nightclub. And then I see minus 9400 for the bunker, minus 6000 for the cocaine lockup, minus 3000 for document forgery, and then all my bills for the uh, mechanic and where I live on the yacht roll in. So I have about 15000 in bills every day. So that 10000 from the nightclub is pretty much worthless to me. And what was another missed opportunity to me was the uh, another part of the nightclub aspect. You can actually charge players to come into your nightclub and they can purchase drinks for money. And there's even a champagne bottle that costs $150,000. Guess what? None of that actually goes towards your daily income. You see none of that money. That's just there for, I don't know, for show sure, maybe. Like, it would have made sense if some of that was to go towards your daily income a little bit. To me, that, 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 that would have made sense. Uh, maybe the nightclub could take half and then you get paid the other half added on to the 10,000 so missed opportunity so final verdict don't buy this DLC it's a giant money pit it's it's a waste it is fun for the nightclub aspect to you know chill with your friends or whatever so maybe buy it on sale for that part but in terms of businesses this is by far the worst I'd actually recommend either the bunker the facilities or if you play solo again the uh, exporting vehicle is the best business for solo players those are the three best businesses in GTA still uh, you can check my reviews for them in the playlist up there or I'll leave a link in the description box but yeah other than that that's been it for this video so I hope you found this helpful kind of went on longer than I wanted it to but um, yeah, you can leave a like if you found it helpful and comment down below what your thoughts on this bunker. I know everyone may not agree with me, so um, it'd be cool to read through your thoughts in the comment section. And subscribe for more GTA 5 content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.